Because you guys are just filming me, right? <laughs> Famous quote from yesterday's interview. It's all about the solo career anyway. <laughs> you got to plan ahead these days. What do you want from me? <laughs> He's a surfer and a snowboarder and a skateboarder. Something's going to break at some point. <laughs> Hello, we are Atlantic Pacific, and we are thrilled and honored to be at Wolfgang's Vault. And this is called One of One. Traffic sings a song as each enters. Ease back into lessons that you've learned. It's been a long time. Oh, my baby is gone.
it's this life that I'm leading that scares me the most. It's been a picture. I've got no, no time to waste hey. I've made my home out in New York City Wait in this pity No doors can keep out the cold It's a sad Filled with wonder The tears that run down your face Just like the rain As this moon twists and lingers from your last cigarette, well, I could kiss you or kill you. Sound okay? Really yeah. Oh, thank you so it's much. Amazing what you yeah, that's awesome. Well. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Angie with Crowd Eddie Magazine, and I'm here with John and Garrett of Atlantic, Pix Atlantic Pacific, um, who just played a beautiful uh, set for us here at the vault. Oh, very kind. <laughs> so I understand that you guys go way back, but um, prior to ever playing music together, you guys had like a, a friendship, right? So when did you guys like first meet? How, what's the origins of that like relationship? Mm. Oh, well, well, in the early, I don't even want to say what year, but... <laughs> Years ago, uh, Garrett played in a band with a friend of mine who I grew up with since like six years old, and he, we lived close to each other, so they would practice at his house, and my parents had a pool, so after practice they would come to my parents' house and take over his house basically and freeload on my, uh, my parents' like, house. But John was basically a part of that band without being in it. He traveled with us, he did all the tours with us, and we shared a, you know, we hit it off right away. Mm -hmm. And I understand that band, like the music was quite different than what you're doing now. Yeah. So how did you guys find that you had this musical chemistry? Well, it took 15 years. Yeah, it was a long time. <laughs> there you just gave away the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took a long time before, I mean, this is the first time we've played together, like seriously. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just talked about it for a number of years mm -hmm. first. But. We played in a band for a night in Indianapolis. It was called the Crossfire Hurricanes. We were a Rolling Stones cover band, and we had one song. It's hard. It's a cool band name. <laughs> 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 and so prior to this project, that's the only thing that you guys did together? Yeah. yeah we mostly just traveled together and skateboarded together and mm -hmm. you know, before we decided to play music. Um, and now, you, so you guys are living in Brooklyn. What's it like being a band in Brooklyn right now and trying to like kind of rise above the noise? Is it? I haven't lived in New Jersey. I don't hear any of the noise. Yeah, he's <laughs> so. out down by the beach in Jersey. But you know what I mean. Like yeah. the Brooklyn, like music scene is very saturated in a good way. Yeah, there's a ton of bands there. Um, there's a ton of bands in New York City. Period. Um, I don't know how we try and stand out. We. Or, I mean, do you feel like it facilitates, um, the community sort of facilitates your ability to record and make music there, or is it sort of like a detriment? Mm, that's a good question. I have to be honest, I feel a little detached from the, the music scene in Brooklyn. I don't really feel uh, like we're part of a music scene in mm -hmm. the city, which, you know, good and bad, I guess, but um, I don't know if we've been embraced by the music community in Brooklyn. I wouldn't say so, no. So, do you play a lot when you're back home? We do. We did um, last year. We did a, a run in, in New York City where we were playing once a week somewhere. Sometimes twice a week. Twice, yeah. Yeah. But um, right now we were kind of focused on just being out in the world and doing it outside of New York. Mm -hmm. It's only only goes so far in New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. What's your songwriting process like? Do you guys come to the songs compositions together or do you sort of each introduce material or? It's a combination of both. I mean, we work collect collaboratively and individually and uh, yeah, it's both. Mm -hmm. The internet helps a lot since he doesn't live too close. Mm -hmm. um, we send stuff back and forth and, <clears throat> and we get together with the band uh, we try to work on new stuff as much as possible, but with the record just being out and these songs being new to most people, uh, we've been concentrating on the record. But um, if the band could be bothered, we'd like to start recording some new songs soon. Mm -hmm. You guys have um, really beautiful vocal harmonies. Is there any oh. kind of vocalists like the similar, like some of your idols, you know, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, like that sort of thing, or like? I like them. Mm -hmm. You listen to them today. Oh, yeah. Um, There's a lot of Crosby, Stills, and Nash here in the vault. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. I want to get that tour next time for yeah. sure. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, like Graham Parsons, Emmy Lou. I mean, I know that's a male and female, and we're not that, but yeah, we we kind of discovered that by mistake yeah. that we could sing together. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. We did and really had no idea what we wanted to do with this band when we started it. At the beginning, it was just John and I mm -hmm. in, my room, in my bedroom in Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, like I said, it was kind of a surprise that we thought we sounded halfway decent together mm -hmm. singing. What would you kind of consider your ultimate goal for this project? I mean, 
or in your goal in terms of like success as musicians like you know would you like to be in a place where you're headlining festivals or just sustaining your careers you know kind of maybe some like touchstones that hmm. um my rent paid would be nice totally so i wouldn't have to work yeah that'd be nice yeah that would be or just to sustain us to keep us out on the road i think that that would i don't ask for much and i don't think anybody else in the band does either it's just as long as as long as it could keep us out and have us not not stress out about what we're missing out on at home you know mm -hmm. yeah i think just remaining active and busy and doing being make, just being able to sustain ourselves well that would be enough yeah. mm -hmm. but i'm not going to turn down festivals <laughs> well how do you guys feel about festival gigs is that something you kind of want to try to um you know encourage on this this year because we're we did, a, we did a few last year yeah we did a couple um i would love to do some more yeah I mean, we'll pretty much play anywhere. We're yeah. not picky. Are you guys going to go to South by Southwest? Yes. We are. Nice. How do you feel like, um, how hard is it for you as a band to get your music heard at something that's so saturated? I don't know. I mean, that that's, I don't know how they got us in there. I mean, there's so many bands. Um, It'll be hard, but hopefully uh, by being out and maybe drumming up some sort of press. The exposure there is huge. Yeah. I mean. yeah. Yeah, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy thing to break through in, but. We're playing a bunch crossed. of shows though. Yeah, we do have a bunch of shows. That During that week. Tentatively. Oh, that's great, yeah. Um, in terms of the rest of the year, 2011, what else do you guys have on tap for this project besides tour? Complete world domination. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, we, we have a pretty extensive tour schedule coming up, um, and it's not all completely confirmed, but from what I understand, it's taking us straight through to the summer. Uh, I mean, we've been working on a bunch of new songs, maybe get a release or two done by the summer, um, maybe an EP by the late spring, and just keep going. Will you be releasing through the label you guys are on now? No Sleep? No Sleep, yeah. Will you be staying with them? And How did you guys kind of come to that relationship? We uh, got in contact with our now manager, and he worked for another label when we met him, and he switched positions to No Sleep and brought our band with him to that label. Mm. So, uh, yeah, they've been great. Um, they are looking to do a new release, and that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, sometime in the spring, something small, just to keep the momentum going, I guess. Mm -hmm, totally. Well, best of luck to you. You guys uh, have beautiful music, and thank Thanks. you so much for stopping by and doing the session and taking the time to answer my questions. It's yeah. an honor. Thank you for thank having you. us. That's it. <clears throat>